Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, giving you guys another reveal video. Today, Looper revealed images of the Siege comic series Cabal 3-pack Amazon exclusive. We're going to talk about this a whole bunch, but first, if you're trying to get your other Marvel Legends, you can do so. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So I have my Extremis Armor Iron Man with me right here, as well as the Vintage Wave Doctor Doom and the last classic taskmaster that was released from hasbro i think it was from the red onslaught wave i'm not sure but i brought those three figures out here to look at so that i can compare them to the images that we're seeing right here so let's start with tasky and this looks really good but i gotta be honest with you when i first saw this image and big thanks to pixel phantom for sharing mcu collectors post with me uh i, I thought to myself i have this figure I, I don't need this figure and i'm holding my taskmaster right now and obviously i'm wrong uh th this is a vulcan body mold upgrade right over here with the butterfly joints and you're gonna get i mean dude if you're happy with the taskmaster that you have right now like just I guess in Taskmaster's your favorite character, and this is the only reason you'd pick this up, well, then just pass on the three-pack. Uh, but this older figure does have the Bucky Cap mold, and it does not have the butterfly joints, and this figure just does look better. This version looks better. Uh, it has a different head sculpt, and I like how it came. I just like what I'm seeing over here. It's not going to be the one I'm most excited for out of the three, but still a good-looking figure. Wish we had more images to look at, to be honest with you, but there we go. We have Taskmaster right here uh, for the first one. And then next, uh, we have Doctor Doom, and this looks cool. Now, I'm holding the Fantastic Four retro card, which has a really bright green on it, and I'm noticing a few differences over here. First off, we're getting a huge cloth cape, which is awesome. We're getting a new Doombot interchangeable head, which is, again, awesome. And I like what they had done with their with the tunic or the skirt part of this. They shortened the skirt. Yeah, we got more Doom thighs. Mm, I love those. Yeah, but no, for real, it just makes the figure look huskier and a little bit more menacing uh, than him having like a longer skirt. So yeah, <laughs> it sounds so weird, uh, but y you know what I'm saying. It, it just it just makes him look a little bit more menacing, I guess, seeing more metal. So not a whole lot of changes over there. It looks like that might be a new head sculpt, uh, aside from the Doombot head. Uh, but I think it, it looks pretty cool. I, I think the paint apps are going to be pretty solid. I think Hasbro is fairly consistent with their promo images being accurate to the actual release products. So uh, based off of this, I, I'm like, Ooh, man, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, very much looking forward to this Doctor Doom. You could possibly army build if you want a ton of these, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. Anyway, here is the one I'm looking forward to the most. We have Iron Patriot. And they did use, I mean, first off, I like that Norman head sculpt. It looks different from the last Norman head that we'd gotten from Hasbro. So I do like that. Uh, but the armor is really cool. I love what they've done over here. Uh, they've really changed things up quite a bit they've used the extremist armor uh, as a foundation for this figure but they've obviously added a whole bunch over here so uh, the shoulders and arms and hands are the same as extremis the lower half of the torso and then from the knees down are the same as extremis but they've given them new thighs again with the thighs thank you and then they've changed the upper torso and the head sculpt, obviously. And I love what they've done with the paint apps for the eyes on this head sculpt. I think it just makes him look a little extra evil. So we can have this in our Dark Avengers. And I like the tone of red that they used over here. I just think it looks really, really good. And this is the one that I want the most. Now, I already have two of these. I customized one several years ago. And then we have uh, the latest version, which, you know kind of has a candy look to it. it 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 looks a little bit on the cheap side so uh i think this one's gonna be an awesome replacement so i'm stoked about this just for the iron patriot more than anything i don't mind army building dr dooms so for that i'm i'm stoked to get in a dr doom uh the taskmaster while it looks awesome i like my previous taskmaster and this one 
is looking better, but I'm not in dire need for it. So 75 bucks is going to be the price. 74.95 is what they listed over here and it's going to be an Amazon exclusive available for pre-order on May 29th, so that's tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh yeah, ho hopefully everybody's able to lock theirs in. Uh I still have not gotten my Warbird Target exclusive pre-order locked in and I yeah, so I ho I hope these don't sell out in like, you know, 3 seconds or whatever. I also wanted to ask you guys and I'm sure most of you don't care, but remember when Hasbro used to give these reveals to several YouTubers? Like, do you guys prefer this? Do you like it when they go with media outlets that don't really have much to do with collecting action figures? Or did you guys prefer when YouTubers and influencers would get the opportunity to reveal these kinds of products? Now, me, obviously, I'm biased because it helps my channel. So, you know, don't take my opinion into account. I just want to know your opinion, you know? I I just want to know what you think about that. Does it matter to you at all or does it matter none whatsoever? Cause it would be cool. I mean, obviously I would prefer that influencers were getting the opportunity to do it, but if they went with influencers that have kind of been at it for a little while, <laughs> I think that's where it started to churn where it was like, Whoa, they're giving influencers an opportunity who just jumped on the scene, man. Like the, people didn't know who they were and stuff and it was like okay and i felt like they're just looking at it as like ah they're all the same got to treat them all equally where it's kind of like you know those of us that have been at this for a long time have kind of had to put some hours into this youtube thing to to get the recognition uh from a decent sized viewership so I feel like if they do do this again, it should stick to YouTube channels that have been that have earned a substantial viewership, not necessarily a substantial subscriber count. I'm saying viewership because the subscriber count, while it does help, it's really about the views more than anything. So if they're getting good views. Like, I think they should get hooked up with an opportunity like this. But of course, I am super duper 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 biased about that all right you guys i just want to know your thoughts on that topic please let me know what you think also let me know what you think of these three figures and which one are you looking forward to the most i think most of us are looking forward to the iron patriot more than anything anyway uh stay tuned i'm going to try to get another video posted before i leave to go teach drum lessons today so uh stay tuned i might have something coming up later today Hit that like button if you liked this video. If you haven't hit subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate you guys watching. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.